the Bella in Canvas 3001 versus the Next Level 3600. Two t-shirt titans face off today, but which is better? Which should you use in your online t-shirt business? Let's find out. Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So good to have you here today. If you're brand new here and we haven't met yet, my name's Kerry. I'm the founder of Shirt School and I created this channel to bring you the best strategies, secrets, and hacks to grow your online t-shirt, apparel, or print-on-demand business. Today we're comparing the Bella and Canvas 3001 versus the Next Level 3600. If for any reason you're not familiar with these t-shirts, these are kind of a middle of the road to upper tier blank t-shirt that is widely used. These are two of the most popular blank t-shirts that you can use. They're usually gonna fall somewhere in the middle of the spectrum. They're not gonna be as you know cheap and sandpaper feeling like maybe some Gildan shirts or some Hanes shirts, but they're not gonna be quite as premium as some other brands, but also some other offerings from these two brands, Next Level and Bell and Canvas. They're gonna give you good affordability, but also that premium soft feel. And so these are really two uh, t-shirts two that are really good to compare because they're very, very similar. And I'm gonna let you know right off the top, this is a really hard comparison because these t-shirts are just extremely close. They're they're almost identical. So I'm gonna give you my best opinions on what I think because I have pretty extensively sold both of these t-shirts and worn both of these t-shirts over the years. And so I feel like I have good perspective on them. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts, but we're also gonna break down the specs. And I wanna to try to add a little bit more information into these comparison videos than I have in the past. So let's kick it off. We're gonna start with some specs. Let's kick it off with the Bell and Canvas 3001. This t-shirt, I paid $4.39 on SS Activewear, kind of buying this wholesale. It's 100% cotton. It is US grown cotton assembled in Honduras. And I wanna give you some print on demand pricing real quick, just so you kind of know what to expect. So Printful has this at $12.95. Now that's printed and packaged, so that's kind of including all that. T-Launch has it at $11.50, and then Awkward Styles has it at $9.99. So you're gonna see kind of a range of prices with the Bell and Canvas 3001. I see it as high as like 16 bucks, and I see it as low as $8.99 or $9.99. Awkward Styles has some of the best pricing on this t-shirt. Moving over to the next level 3600, I paid $4.44 for a blank t-shirt on SS Activewear. This is also 100% cotton. It is also made in Honduras, but I did some research and I couldn't really find where the cotton was grown. So as far as I can tell, Next Level is not advertising that they grow their cotton in America. They do have some US made shirts and I'm sure the cotton is grown in the US for those shirts, but this is not one of them. It is made in Honduras, just like the Bell and Canvas 3001. And we don't really know where the cotton is grown. It might just be grown in Honduras. Some print on demand pricing. Printful has this t-shirt at $16.95. T-Launch is offering at $12 and Awkward Styles has it at $10.60. So right off the top, just looking at those specs, as you just heard, they're both made in Honduras, right? Same place. They're both 100% cotton. Uh, the pricing is just slightly different. So Printful $12.95, $16.95 on Printful for the next level. So uh, the Bell & Canvas is considerably cheaper on Printful. If you look at T-Launch though, T-Launch has $11.50 on B&C. $12 on uh, the next level, so only a 50 cent difference. And then if you look at Awkward Styles, $9.99 on the BNC, $10.60 on the next level. So you've got about a 61 cent difference there. So that's kind of consistent with what you'll find overall is that the next level is just a little bit more expensive, but not a considerable amount. But in some cases, like with Printful here, you see you know basically a $4 difference in the price, which is huge. But most print on demand providers, these will be somewhat similarly similarly priced with the next level being just maybe a little bit more expensive. If you watch the channel at all, then you know I'm a big fan of the Bella and Canvas 3001. I recommend it a lot as a print on demand, good print on demand option to sell. It's also good if you're not using print on demand. But it's again, it's kind of that middle of the road, pretty soft unisex t-shirt that is, you know, reasonably priced um, that you can get most everywhere. Now, one thing you'll notice when you're looking at these two, especially with print on demand, is you're usually gonna have more colors available with the 3001 than you will with the, the 3600. And so that's something to take note of. But I, I generally recommend the 3001. But you know, when I started really doing this research and everything, I found that the 3600 is not that far off in most of all the categories and even the price, they're pretty similarly priced. 
Are you building a Shopify print on demand store and you just need a step-by-step -step guide to make sure your store is ready for launch? If so, I wanna give you my free Shopify store build cheat sheet and you can download it by just going over to shirtschool.com slash cheat sheet. Download it for free, it's my gift to you. Go check it out. The first thing I wanna talk about is quality control. This is something I have seen over the last couple of years with the Bella and Canvas t-shirt is a little bit of quality control issue. So I've had quite a few Bell and Canvas t-shirts that I've bought where there are really just these stray threads and sometimes they're pretty big. So I'm gonna hold this up to the camera and let you see this thread. Now this is just a fresh brand new t-shirt I got from SS Activewear and this is happening here on the t-shirt. Now that was the only imperfection I could find but that's a pretty big one. Especially if you're getting these in and you're just wanting to print them quick and get them out. You don't wanna be sitting there cutting uh, threads off right I did find that there was another thread stuck to it but it wasn't actually like connected but I did find that and that's a pretty big quality control issue there and I'll be honest with you a, I wouldn't say a lot but a, a few of the Bell and Canvas 3000 ones that I've seen over the years uh, do have kind of stray threads so that's something to note on the next level 3600 I didn't see anything like that this t-shirt is solid and there were no quality control issues and I've never had a quality control issue with the 3600 uh, in, again, years of using these and buying these. One thing that I found very interesting, I again, I'm a fan of the 3001, but having both of these in your hands right away, if we talk about the softness a little bit, the next level definitely feels softer. Even though on, on paper, all the specs are very, very similar, this next level does feel just slightly softer. And when I put these on earlier and just kind of, uh, you know, I just wanted to feel again what they each feel like, although the belly and canvas is pretty is pretty soft and lightweight, the, the next level is a little bit softer and I think it's just a little bit thicker. Now it's not, it's not like thicker enough that it feels like heavy or anything. It's just a little bit thicker where it feels more premium. And so I wanted to bring that up that oh, that was my experience. I, I love the belly and canvas, but having these both right in front of me and trying them on back to back, I did notice that the next level slightly more premium feels slightly softer. And, I, and I'm talking like just a tiny bit. These are not like significant differences in these two, but I did find that this was just a little bit premium, more premium and more comfortable feeling on your body. Next, my thoughts on the fit. Now the fit on both of these t-shirts is almost identical, like almost identical. It almost makes me think there might be some conspiracy theory and they're being made in the same factory in Honduras. <laughs> it's kind of a joke, but kind of serious. When I laid these out on top of each other and when I put them on, the cut is like almost identical. These both fit just a little bit long, which I, I like and I prefer. These both have a little bit of a tighter fit um, and then I think that the next level sleeves are just a little bit tighter, a little bit more of a, a fitted uh, fit on the on the sleeves. The Bell and Canvas just a little bit looser on the sleeves, but overall they're about the same length. They fit about the same way around the torso. I think the only difference that I found really is that the next level is just a little bit tighter sleeves than the Bella in Canvas. So what are my overall opinions on the 3001 and the 3600? Well. These are both phenomenal t-shirts. These are both great t-shirts. And I think most any customer uh, of most any brand that is selling these t-shirts is going to be pretty satisfied with the t-shirts. Some of the things we found in this review were that the Belling canvas had maybe a little bit more quality control issues with those stray threads. The next level just slightly more premium, slightly more soft, but you'll also get more options on the Belling canvas and you will have a little bit better pricing in most situations. Now, I think the pricing difference, if you're with the right print on demand provider is pretty insignificant. And if you're ordering these in bulk from you know a distributor or a wholesaler, I only had a five cent difference at 439 on the BNC and 444 on the next level. So a five cent difference, really, really insignificant. So for you, if you are wanting more options and you're wanting a little bit better deal with print on demand, probably go in with the BNC 3001. But if you're wanting a little bit more premium feel and you know it's worth the extra price to you, go for the next level 3600. If you enjoyed this video today, please do me a huge favor and just smash that like button. It just takes a second of your time and it's completely free. Also consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon to make sure you get notified when new videos release. See you soon.